know this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, we are not out at the beach today. In fact, in back of us, I think they're going to make us a hot chocolate or espresso. We happen to be here at the Cadillac booth. But meanwhile, I know, you know what's going on? Everything around us. But for now, we're going to bring on Camel with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> okay, so how is, okay. The White House is, it didn't know anything about the cylinder problems. I know, we got airplanes overhead, folks. Can't do anything about that one. I know. <laughs> yeah, right. How was it they don't, didn't know about it? Well, no, they said that they were not informed about the fact that the Bush administration had turned it down and that the energy department, lower people in the energy department. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I know. But they, they said that lower people in the energy department were remiss in not telling Secretary Chu that there was a problem with the loan. And they're now, they're not going to sacrifice one of Obama's people. They're going to sacrifice people down the food chain. Isn't that something? Oh. And those people don't sacrifice. This isn't, this isn't a country where they'll fall on their swords for the president. They'll just simply turn his butt in. Mm. Oh, and then the other guest news item that they're, that they're, uh, they're basically they're getting ready to the jail Robert Wagner for the murder of Natalie Wood. Yeah, what in the world is that? Why, first of all, what? Why okay. did they even reopen the case? Uh, because the they deal? had credible evidence. Now, what happened was a captain of the boat is writing a book about it, and he's now come forth for PR purposes to explain how he lied and that Robert Wagner was responsible for her death. Something if you don't hide something like that. For well, they years. said as long as Christopher Walken said that. Bob, you know, R.J. was with him. That can't mean that means that, uh, and, and Christopher Walken is not a subject. And they they hope that he will cooperate with them in the uh, in the thing. They said that R.J. is not a, you know, actually people. That is Johann Wagner, Ro Robert Johann Wagner. And he's sort of going to guess who it named after. But they said that his cooperation will be invaluable in finding out who actually murdered Natalie Wood. Aren't they trying to convict him? No, they're trying to convict Robert Wagner. Oh. They said that neither one of them are suspects, but the very fact that they're doing this means that Robert Wagner is going to be charged with killing his wife, which, it, you know, uh, that is not going to go over well, folks. He is one of the, like, the guy doesn't have a mean bone in his body and he doesn't get drunk. And 30 years later? 30 years later, a guy that's writing a book about the Natalie Wood thing. Yeah, I mean, here's, my, now, here's my feelings. Is if the guy that's writing the book didn't say that before, he's in uh, a Okay, uh, I'll give you an indication. This is, this is pure speculation, of course. Robert Wagner is one of the more predominant conservative Republicans in Hollywood. And he has uh, been battling against Obama. And the captain of the boat just happened, the, the retired captain of his boat just happened to work for a member of the Democratic Election Committee. Oh, amazing how that happened. But no, they say we'll have nothing, they've already denied that it has anything to do with his political persuasion or who the guy was working for. Oh, now that's a good one. Yeah, but, and remember that the mayor of the city of Los Angeles is also a Democrat that's looking for a position in the next Obama administration. No, that's a good and one. the chief of police is another liberal that supports the Obama administration. And Baca is a, supports the Obama administration. So if you're just putting all these things together, would you say they're trying to get rid of a Republican before the election? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're trying to position themselves. They can't but, convict him of anything, but what they can do is destroy his ability to go out in public now. That is just atrocious. It's how they do it. They pick an 81-year-old man and I mean, decide to throw him under the wheels of a bus. 81 years old. They they have better targets than that. I yeah. Mean, it's like, this is, it's pathetic. Yep. It's totally pathetic. The other thing, disappointing was Breaking Dawn releases, what, 30.3 million? Yeah, it, it was under its last release, and that's never a good sign when you open up less than your last movie. Because their movies have been opening higher. This one opened lower which means the final segment will probably come back to normal. It's not going to make as much money as they originally hoped. First of all, it's a two-parter. Uh, the first part of the uh, two-part ending on Harry Potter tank, more or less. Oh, did it? It didn't do as well as they expected, whereas the next one really did well. Cause, and it didn't do as well as they said. We were at the stupid premiere, folks. We had special passes. We saw 
the, the last two parts together, and it was not a packed audience under no circumstances. Not for ours, but when we came to our, what showing, 9 o'clock showing? Yeah. Right? And then we were going to watch the 1201 showing. For our 12, there were already people waiting in line for the latter showing at midnight, and we did a double header. Yeah, and our double header was the premium thing, and the other one wasn't, and so. <laughs> well, because the second part didn't make sense without the first part, and we didn't yeah, see the first so part. Yeah, so it made sense to see both of them together. Yeah. And the judge rules against Occupy Wall Street encampment. Oh, yeah, I mean, they, they just ruled against them again this morning. I mean, it just... The, they're not saying, okay, I mean, I love it, these, uh, okay, these a-holes that are in the Democratic Party. It's, it's, uh, we all know it's agitators from outside trying to destroy this movement. And uh, they said that people blame the Tea Party for things that they weren't doing. So now the Tea Party is, is attacking, you know, the President of the United States through Occupy Wall Street. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't just occupy Wall Street. They closed down some of the streets in L.A. yesterday, too. I know. It rest everywhere. They said, they're vi they said uh, okay, uh, Martin Luther King did peaceful demonstrations in which they got arrested. The Wall Occupy Wall Street people do not do peaceful demonstrations. They, uh, they're basically going into bank buildings. I think what they did, they, they tried to, to set up a tent inside the Bank of America building downtown Los Angeles. So. Really? And Republicans finally getting the idea that Obama has no plans not to be president for life. I know, isn't that a good one? Because if you listen closely, he talks about plans after 217. Uh, his, his second presidency would end in 216. He's talking about, you know, uh, material, pro, uh, bills that he would like to be brought up that he could sign in 217. That means three terms, folks. And they're also talking about they see no reason why a president shouldn't serve more than two terms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess what that should tell you. And there is no inflation in the entire retail and store industry. Can't keep the shelf stock because so many people are spending money. Uh, the, 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 the latest polls this morning, the latest survey said 69% uh, of the people, which includes a lot of Democrats, folks, don't think that the recession is over and they're not spending money because they don't have the extra money to spend. And uh, you know, we were at the auto show, which is why this is not being done like normal. Every uh -huh. single one of the auto, every time of the auto companies has record sales, all of them, and they're all selling no, the I same. Think they, just, they just pick out whichever one sounds good and then publicize those stats. Yeah, but the, the, you know, but there is no good facts. That the problem is there's nothing good about auto sales. And there, you know, even though we had all of these problems, like our, you know, like President Obama blames everything, all the problems. They didn't blame everything on the problems, although they got the same problems. But they're still selling record amounts of everything, despite the fact that the industry was wiped out for three months. They're, they broke their sales records. All of the companies are breaking their previous sales records. And Mexican interior minister killed in a helicopter crash. Yeah, they think he was brought down by, uh, let's put it this way, they think there were 20,000 air-to-ground missiles lost in Libya, and they think one of them was used on, an air, on a minister now. And free trade boost gets free trade gets boosted APEC from Japan. Yeah, don't bet on it. Obama really? doesn't believe in free trade. Obama wants uh, Obama basically uh, in order uh, free trade and unions don't go well together. And and as of the moment, he's pissed off the unions over the the pipeline, so he's got to feed him something else. So he's not going to sign a free trade agreement. And police investigate after shots fired near the White House. Well, yeah, they arrested the guy and charged him with attempted murder. And they said that he has a long history of Republican, uh, Republican extremist work. Really? He's a black person. They don't, a lot of, they don't generally have a lot of black Republicans, folks, especially and, extremist ones. And Venezuela rescues kidnapped baseball star Ramos. Yeah, well, they're not going to go back to Venezuela. Nobody in the right mind is going to go to Venezuela anymore. You'd have to really be stupid to do that. I mean... I mean, you, if you're making millions of dollars a year, why would you want to live in a country where they make a living kidnapping people and ransoming them back? That's not good. Yeah. And MF Global fires brokerage staff in mass. Company's bankrupt, folks. I mean, they they got six hundred million dollars of money that they cannot buy. And, uh, you know, but they said the uh, the brokers are suing the uh, they're suing the company over the fact that they. They redacted their money 
you know, after they were paid for uh, doing work, they then ordered the money to all be returned, and that money's now missing. Oh, really? Yep. An MF Global Fires broker staff in mass. Yeah. I don't know if she liked that one so much. That's it how is. you tell it's live because we do the same because thing. Because it is. Once. You know how disgusting that is? Well, they're not the only ones firing people en masse. The mm. Academy Awards. Oh, God. There's, <laughs> there's like, they call it the night of the long knives. And, and they're, well, what happens is is that the Oscars is basically a, a relic of the past that's trying to become something new and never understood. Their audience was my age yeah, in this country. And... Um, and they no longer watch the Academy Awards like they did before. I mean, the, the, uh, the figures go down every year. While it does well out of this country, that's simply because of the total amount of foreign movies that are getting nominated anymore. Because, oh, really? Yeah, well, because uh, most of the good movies are no longer made in the United States because of, can we say, union problems? And who is it that, I love it, who votes for the Academy Awards? They're almost all union members. I know. So. Well, we going to be a mess. Yep. Yeah. Um, and says that Yellen urges Europe to act on crises. Well, that's not going to happen because um, uh, it, it, it's because they don't have, the countries are broke. I mean, I mean, Obama cannot, Obama, you can, you have to get your fiscal house in order. Well, uh, this morning, the Democrats are pissed off because the Republicans say you can't count. A bill. Okay, their contribution to the effort of, of, their, of their cutting the budget is to count all the money that was going to be saved from not fighting in wars and to raise taxes by a trillion and a half dollars. Yeah, which means they've done nothing but raise taxes by a trillion and a half dollars. Oh, they did count the Medicare thing for the fourth time, though. Oh, really? Yeah. So that they could say, we're actually cutting more from the budget than the Republicans are willing. So far, the only cuts are coming from the Republicans. So they, they said, and but this is being done on the 18th, folks. They were supposed to have their thing uh, done on the 15th, which means it's not going to be done no matter what, which they said doesn't really make any difference because the, the next Congress isn't bound to obey anything that's done in this one, including the billion and a half dollars automatic cuts. And stem cells show promise in healing damaged hearts. They always have, but the uh, Republicans didn't believe in uh, stem cells being used for anything. It's just what not. What was the deal with that? Uh, okay, right wing Christian looting, which is why they. Oh, okay. They, 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 it's one of the reasons why they said that no matter who gets the majority of the vote in the Republican Party, he can't be elected because to be a to get the uh, primary nomination. You have to swing way to the right, and you cannot get elected with those people on the right because stem cells—they come from stupid umbilical cords, folks, from babies. Right, and you've and, already delivered the baby. Yeah. So why not utilize the bees? Because they said it's it's killing uh, a living thing, and cells are living. But unfortunately, when you eat food, you're killing living things also. Yeah, but if you deliver the baby, the umbilical cord gets what? Thrown away? Thrown away. So they, what's the they difference? They said it should be given a proper proper burial. Well, they, um, <laughs> yeah, well, Mississippi shows you how, how the, how the um, Republicans are going backwards. Mississippi tried to get a law passed by voters' referendum outlawing um, birth control, saying it was mur first-degree murder and it had got killed. <laughs> Yep. You know, there really are some losers. Yeah. Is, is that interjecting commentary? I know. But, well, you, it's, you know, they, they, everybody, there's, everybody's subject to their own opinion. Yeah, that's why they, the one thing they said the that uh, a third party candidate, or Hillary Clinton, will end up being the challenger to Obama because the Republicans, they've written, everybody has written the Republicans off because they said it's going to end up with Mitt Romney and he's unelectable. The Republicans will not come out and vote for the man because he, he gave the world Obamacare and he refuses to admit it was wrong. So. And social networkers more interested in friends than celebs. What? Okay, then why are so many celebrities befriended? <laughs> I mean, I don't, okay, I, I actually, I have celebrities, but my celebrities all have Emmys, Grammys, and Academy Awards. I don't have my family on my thing because they don't want them. They get, they get some. Well, let's put it this way: the Spanish side of my family continually, you know, asks me to be. I, I do put some people on, 
That's when you should put them in a Google Plus. I don't know, man. And you can have different circles. I know. We're probably going to... And gonna, then they'll still feel included, but then they don't get to hear everything. I know. I'm old. <laughs> I'm having a problem doing Facebook, folks. <laughs> I stopped Twittering months ago because of the fact I got tired of... You know, I actually have to do that more, but I don't because I don't. I run out of funny things to say. Well, okay, here's part of it is, is you know, how many people do you need? I mean, because first of all, as a organization, it's very worthwhile to have your hands because it's wherever the people are, so you need to be out there. But you know, the organizations they do have a full-time social uh, uh, media person. I know, same as with like. Uh, and not a spring chick knows firsthand because she spent three days with the with the budding um, social media department of GM. You know, go over to um, I uh, CNN I reports and see her report of on uh, her first report on what it was like to be part of their new program. Actually, it was really really cool. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to be doing some more writing, and you'll see some more video on it. But it was very unique. Yeah. I was very privileged to even have the opportunity to do it. I know, and it did. did you know, it, it changed our entire coverage of everything. No matter, even though it changed the covering, I only missed two press conferences because of it. That's amazing. I know, and there was no way because the, the what happened was the conferences that I was at ran long, and because they ran long, uh, I couldn't get to the get to a spot. To, what happens is the first day of dealer dealer appreciation day, and there's thousands of people in there in the way of all the press people. So it's just hard to cut yeah, through. Yeah, and that is not an exaggeration. No, and they came more in. I mean... At one thirty, more people were let through the doors. Are you serious? And that that's when it got really hard to get into things, so... And deep chilling approach to be used to help save trauma patients. Well, yeah, because that's all... <laughs> I, I, I love that. The, I, I, I can remember that being done in, in bad television... 60 years ago, folks. Oh, really? It's, yeah, because it helps, to, it calms you all down. They said that uh, they'd take a person like in cold water, actually, go over to MASH and see an episode of MASH where they, they managed to get a person under control by putting him in ice. Oh, really? Is that what they did? Yeah, it basically, it helped, it helped to settle, bring the system under control where they could operate on him then. And Mexican interior minister killed in helicopter crash. Yeah, that, it's, 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 that, that's they call that the two. This, two what? That's two of them that have been killed this oh. week. Oh, that's not Are one. You that's, a, that's not the same one. That's nope. a repeat from earlier. Well, because if you're not on the drug dealer side in Mexico, you're dead. So, this is a problem when you elect a government that basically thinks they can handle the situation. Mexico was known for generations. Of electing guys to be the presidency that basically kicked ass. Now they got a guy that he's sort of Obama light. So you, oh no! He thinks that Are he can serious? talk to these people. Oh gosh! EMI cell ends 80 years of independence. I know. Well, no, we actually knew where this was headed a few years ago when we were at a at a conference. And one of, the, one of the presidents of the VNI said he didn't know what he was doing there because they'd fired him before he came to the show. They've been in a. They've had problems for years because they um, they haven't been okay. They're one of the great people that decided to take on Napster and help to destroy the music industry in the process. Instead of uh, getting the idea that online was the future of the music business, they wanted to keep it in stores. Yeah. Anybody seen iTunes, folks? They make all the money now. Now the recording artists are not making as okay. Recording artists are getting a fraction of what they could have been making because they pissed off everybody. With, well, when you go after some 90-year-old woman because she she uh, recorded music off a of radio and give it to her kids, uh, yeah, I used to do that. When I, I I can remember, you know. 50 years ago with little recorders we'd, we'd hear music that we you know this is before they did all their call signals and you just record songs off the off of the radio and then you'd give it to everybody and everybody else would pass the thing around they go like over to the radio lab and make dupes of everything so so mm. and you no know, should i have known better yeah but you I did knew it anyway. better but that's what everybody was doing people still do it now i was a sound engineer so oh, I mean, I, 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 so I just if they'd hand me the stuff and I, I, you know, I just dupe tapes off for people and they give it. 
or I would play it on the better quality equipment in the in the sound room, and, and then sound better. and then they would sound better, and then they copy it off of that. So a mother charged with murder of one year old Missouri boy. Well, here's the trick: is if a kid dies and you're the parent, you generally go to jail whether you did it or not. Oh, because the uh, the people that bring the charges don't they've never heard of children crawling out of beds children crawl okay you know why you put kids in those uh, old-fashioned cages that the baby cribs so they don't crawl out so they don't crawl out but they've decided that they're dangerous so uh, basically more kids get out now than ever before so Aww. Study, women more likely to have a broken heart syndrome well, yeah, because there's more of them than there is men. So the men can basically play the field more than the women Oh, is that can. what it is? Ah! Yeah, well, there's, I think there are three times as many females in the world as there are males. Because Seriously? they said if a male manages to make it through through his early years, he's lucky because males don't. Males are more likely to die before, uh, died in childbirth. Be a, you know, the males are more likely to be... A, uh, uh, miscarries. Females oh, tend really? to be much stronger. They can't let women live for folks. They own everything. And police, student fatally shot at UC Berkeley, acted strangely. Yeah, who's an Occupy Berkeley person. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you have to say about that one, right? Well, I mean, this isn't bad. You know, we're, we've now hit the 20 minute mark, which is the longest thing we've ever done with our news. So, can we do 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah because we're on a <laughs> Um, Charles Manson follower Tex Watson denied parole in California. But, yeah, because they're, they tend to be loonies. I mean, they're, they're going to put a person that's mentally deranged out. And, well, actually, if, all he has to do is to claim that I'm a, I'm a member of the Democratic Party and I'm a political prisoner and then Obama will release him. Oh, is that what it is? And couples ages 88 and 87 married after 17 years of dating. I know. I, I, I think if I was 80, if I was the guy, I'd have found somebody younger. <laughs> I mean, he could have at least found a 68-year-old uh -huh. or a 70-year-old. At that age, I don't think, you know, um, you know I, I, I remember, no, I remember, uh, I used to work, when I, I guess, way back, 1950-something, I worked on a series of uh, television series called The Goldbergs, and, um, they had the woman that played the mother, she, you know, her, her grandfather came into the room and he said, but aren't you, don't you worry about, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, consequences? And he says, if she dies, she dies. And he's like 90 years old. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> you know. and they've already had all their friends dying on them, so it's like, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so he's used to it. Dogs that survive gassing find some new permanent home. Oh, well, they're not supposed to survive gassing. If the dog doesn't die, you you know, it's, it, what they've done is the dog no, has been do no, the dog has been permanently damaged. You can't. You have to put the dog down no matter what, folks. That was just some do-gooder's idea of making a dog suffer for the rest of his life because it, it cannot function as a normal animal because the gas is destroying parts of his nervous system. Oh, really? Yep. Groups of millionaires visit Capitol Hill and demand more taxes. Okay. They said there's something like in this country, by oh, actually by Obama standard, there's like 10 million people that make $250,000 a year. Obama had 45 people show up and demand the taxes. Oh, 45 right. people? 45 people. That's all they could get out of their raise the taxes on millionaires organization with 45 signatures. <laughs> Are you serious? That's it, because the millionaires, okay, well, the, the way it works is like Russell Simmons and Michael Moore. If other people, if the taxes are raised, then I will pay, but I'm not going to volunteer. Well, because th these guys that are all volunteering uh, have all got funds, that just, just like uh, Stephen Jobs and, and Warren Buffett, they they don't pay taxes. Well, I think that anybody that sits there and says everybody should pay more taxes and wants to pay, should be paying more taxes. Yeah, but right? they, and they're trying to get it for everybody else? They ask the people, well, you know, the government has always allowed you to pay more. They always have. They've always allowed you to pay more. If you think you're not paying your fair share, you can pay more. These people won't volunteer to pay a dime. They just want the, they want the laws changed so that people like them that aren't paying their fair share 
will pay more, but they won't volunteer it. None they of these people. They should just be paying more. Yeah. And police discover major drug tunnel under the U.S.-Mexico border. I know, but uh, they, I, I mean, I, I don't okay. This is Obama's fault because they wanted to put seismic devices all along the border. If they'd have put the seismic devices along the border, which is a high-tech means of keeping track of things, we would know where the tunnels are being built instead of waiting until after they smuggle stuff through. I know, but Obama doesn't believe, okay, Obama needs those people to vote for him, so therefore, but the problem is they don't like Obama. Mm -hmm. I love that. He wants, he, he's expecting them to come out in force, and he's going to, his whole election campaign is half of the liberal left, uh, one-tenth of the black vote, and maybe one-tenth of the Latino vote, and that will win the election for him with a little over 30% of the vote. Isn't that a great election mm -hmm. plan? And 20 people in two states charged in a case linked to drug cartel. I, I, that one I thought, you know, you, you know when you got a bad news period is when they're talking. Nobody, I mean, you could throw a rock on the beach. I mean, we know that there's something goes on down here because there's so many police. we got police officers. Look at that here, folks. This is not a great day on this area, and there's police officers down on the beach. They don't, the, the drug dealers don't come out in bad weather. Oh, is that what it is? They don't go out. This is Southern California. If the water sucks, they stay inside. Actually, they're not the only ones that don't come out in bad weather. Not a spring chick doesn't. You know. I do, too. Well, okay, if it's too cold, she won't come out. If it's raining, she won't come out. She wondered why her dog, Bogey, was such a diva. <laughs> because her dog was just like her. <laughs> No, if the, if the sun was too that. hot, she would stay inside. If it was too cold outside, she'd stay inside. If the sun was out, she stayed inside. If the, you know, if the moon was up, she stayed inside. So, oh, <laughs> I know. I'm not that bad. I'm just exaggerating. Will she get in the, will she get wet? Only if it's really hot and the water's warm. Yeah. Will she go out in the rain? Never on your life. So. If it's warm. She's never just, if she, it's warm and I'm not going somewhere afterwards, and I can clean up. Okay, we've been doing this for like seven years, and she's not gotten wet once. Oh, this is Southern California. On. Don't believe that one. Yeah. God can fire rockets after Israeli threat. Yeah, you know, and guess where they're getting the rockets from? You know, all of that stash to was in Libya. Really? That the that the rebels are selling to everybody under the sun. Well, they're expecting that uh, you know that they're they're going to start selling nuclear weapons to all of the uh, Arab countries in the Middle East now because of Obama. Okay. <laughs> Stop. You know, they said, well, we can't start a war with Iran. Well, you can finish the war with Iran in one shot, so. Oh, really? Well, it will happen. The Israelis will finish off Iran with one shot. And then the whole place is going to, oh, look, we got a TV company going over now. And he's shooting the beach, folks. Boy, is he shooting the beach down there, turning right to left. Well, he's probably looking at all, the only, well, See, they're smart enough to know the only people down on the beach are police officers. One guy laying down, another guy sitting on a sand hill, and, and they don't open. Okay, why do we have our our restrooms open down on this beach during the week? Because the, co the cops don't have keys to get in like the other people. So they have to leave the doors open That's for them. That's our first clue. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you guys, you have guys sitting with, um, you know, umbrellas when there's no sun down. Well, actually, it's Friday, and they still don't have the... Well, we're going to appoint a new government. Well, it's Friday, and they have no new government. And, you know, it's Friday, and we should have had a new government in Greece two weeks ago. Well, the problem is they can't get either side to agree because the the right and the left will never agree because the extreme right are socialists, the extreme left are, are the people that want to continue spending. Oh, so, really? But see, the whole problem is they're politicians. They're... The, it's just like yesterday, the Republicans passed a program to spend more money. Yeah, everybody knew they would pass a program to spend more money. And so. Gaza militants fire rockets after Israeli threat. I know, see, that's how you know it's all life because she read the same thing more than once. So. Okay, what about the blast at Kenya refugee camp? Oh, it's yeah. It, 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 they, they, like to, they, kill, uh, they like to kill female child children because they're no use. Which is funny. They did a thing on NCIS about that. They did? Yeah, that uh, females scare the daylights out of Muslims, so they try to put them in their proper place. But, uh, hey, man.
actually did our first ever one. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Anyway, this is directly aimed at our President Barack Hussein Obama. Americans aren't lazy and worthless and useless. We just are better than others but refuse to hold that against them. Yay, our first ever 30-minute broadcast. I know. And I